a lot of students tend to have trouble with transitional epithelium more than any other epithelium, and I think that's because it can look very different depending on where the sample was taken from. However, all transitional epithelium is stratified, so that's what you want to look for first. All three of these examples have multiple rows of cells. And usually there are dome-shaped cells, ones that are kind of bubbly, especially near the top, although not always, as we can see in the second example. Some of the cells are dome-shaped, but the dome isn't necessarily near the top. But you can pretty much always identify it by the process of elimination. And what I mean is, if you think about all of the other types of epithelium, go down the list, you can easily say, well, this is not simple squamous because it has multiple layers of cells. Also means it can't be simple cuboidal or columnar. Uh, can't be stratified squamous because these cells are not flat. Pseudostratified columnar has cilia. So eventually you will get to the point where you realize the only thing it could be is transitional. I have seen some students misidentify this, which is stratified cuboidal, um, as being transitional or vice versa. But stratified cuboidal tends to look more organized, first of all, meaning the nuclei are in nice rows rather than all over the place like you see in transitional. And usually it's also in a cheerio formation because you're finding it in ducts of glands. You also might mistake this for being transitional, but this is actually stratified squamous. It is the keratinized variety. So it has a flaky top, which is how you know it can't be transitional. However, sometimes the flaky top can be really compressed, so it might not look that flaky, so you have to pay close attention. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you need help identifying epithelium in general, I do have two videos with examples of epithelium that you can find in my histology playlist, which I will link in the description. Have a great day and have fun learning.